this is an article that was sent to me by one of my YouTube followers and he left it in my inbox on Instagram. Now I'm assuming that he's showing me this article because of the last video I made regarding the ammo shortage and the website I displayed where you can buy ammunition. I want to mention that young people, gangbangers, drug dealers are not quick to go to a gun store or a legal website and buy legal ammunition because that leaves a paper trail. So that don't have anything to do with the action of this 17 year old youth that decide to take his family out because they refuse to allow him to leave the home. Now, I'm not going to fault the parents for what transpired because there's a lot of parents that have lost touch and that's out of touch with their teens. Even though their kids live in the same house, they grew up in that house, they are out of touch with them. Sometimes parents let their kids do what they want to do thinking that that's going to save their life. I'd rather them smoke weed because at least they're smoking weed at home. I'd rather them drink because they're drinking at home. As long as my sons are listening to uh, violent rap music and playing video games that's violent, at least they're at home. I know exactly where they are, but they fail to realize that that's conditioning and training your child for potential future events that could take place like in this article. Now you see the headlines. 17 year old black teen accused in mass murder of his own family in Indianapolis. Now this type of mass murder you're not really going to hear about on a national level because it's involving black on black violence. See, if this was a white kid, it'd be different, I'm sure. But since this is a 17 year old black teen that took out his family, this remains local unless somebody like myself decide to talk about it on YouTube. So you're not really going to hear about gun control. You're not really going to hear about assault style rifles unless this is done locally because this was a local event. It's not nationwide. But it says sources tell 13 News that 17 year old suspect in the Adam Street killings was upset after his parents refused to allow him to leave home. Now he's 17 years old and I'm sure he felt he was a young adult, that he was grown and that he shouldn't have to abide by his parents' rules. Now I have two sons and them growing up in my house, I had rules and they understood the rules. And I always explained to them that I don't care how old you are, you can be 50 years of age. As long as you are in my house, you'd abide by my rules. The day that you feel that you're too grown, to follow rules is the day it's time for you to find your own place. I also had another rule that if you decide to take your girlfriend out, you guys go to the movies, or even if you hang with your friends, you have to be in the house at the latest and it, and it, and it varied according to their age. So a 17 year old, I'd say, you have until 
10 o'clock or maybe 11 o'clock to be home. Once the lock and the alarm is on the door, no one goes out and no one comes in. The day that you feel that you can't abide by those rules, it's time for you to find your own place. Now, I'm a light sleeper, and maybe that's something that came from the military. But I'm fully aware of what goes on even while I'm asleep. Because the slightest move or crick in the floor, my eyes open automatically. I'm always aware, right? So it's not like they can just sneak out because I know it. And if that happens, then I have to deal with them another way. It's time for you to go, right? But so I'm not going to blame the parents because people raise their kids different. Sometimes we're living in the situation. We're living in a time where parents, especially black parents, give their kids too much. See, I grew up in an era where we didn't have all this stuff, man. We had to work and earn what we had. And we appreciated it a lot more. Now, why this young man had an assault-style rifle in his room, I have no idea. At 17 years old, he couldn't even walk inside a legal gun store or even a Walmart and buy that. Unless, of course, he had someone to buy it for him. And even then, it's still not legal. So why does he have a firearm in the house and the parents are not aware of it? There's no way my sons would have had a firearm in this house and me not know it because I'm the type of father that would go through their room. When they're in school or when they're out, I make sure I'm nosy. So I look under the mattress in the closet you know, I knew about every little hole or, you know, so I searched their rooms because you have young people around that age that like to hide things, drugs, weed, weapons. So I'm the type of father, I'd find it and then I would deal with you accordingly. So why this young man was allowed to have an assault style weapon in his home, it's beyond me. But politicians would take this, if this was a white kid and this was on national level, politicians would run with this to talk about gun control. And they would throw away, they would throw around that word, those words, assault style rifle because there's people out there that really don't understand. They don't understand, they don't understand. They just hear assault style rifle and they panic, oh, it needs to be banned. This young kid had an assault style rifle, so now we have to push gun control. We have to change laws, but you're not thinking because the firearm that he has is illegal. And more than likely, he got it off the streets of black market. It's not really hard to get an illegal firearm. It's not hard at all. So they can change all the laws they want. They can make laws as strict as they want for legal gun owners. But criminals are going to always find a way to find a firearm. And I mentioned in a video of the past that I've had dudes come in my store trying to sell me illegal firearms. There was even a community gun, they call, that was put in a certain area for these, these little gangbangers or whatever knew where to find it at if they wanted to put in some work, right? So it has nothing to do with legal gun owners. I just want to put that out there. But I'm going to let you watch the video and... I'm assuming that's his father and his mom's 
they displayed that photo but hey I'm gonna let you listen to the video and then you feedback and tell me what you think and then I'll post the article on the bottom so you can read it in its entirety for yourself Tonight, we'll have that story coming up in just a moment. But first tonight, our Steve Jefferson today talked to a local pastor who believes the violent lyrics in the teen suspect's music may also have influenced this deadly event. Well, it's hard to imagine a 17-year-old going on a killing spree. The local pastor raises concerns because he says it's something the teenager sings about in his music. Man, it's really gut-wrenching, and it just really hurts. Pastor Kenneth Sullivan Jr. believes violence in music can easily translate to real-life violence. Many of the artists or aspiring artists are beginning to act out the things that they rap about. Say one time we empty this in this music video of the 17-year-old accused of killing his family, he sings about shooting and killing. As more details surface about the Adam Street tragedy, sources tell 13 News the teenager's parents told him he could not leave the house in the middle of the night. That's when he allegedly grabbed an assault rifle, according to sources, and started shooting everyone at home, including his own mother and his 18-year-old brother, who took negative lyrics out of his own music. That if you're constantly feeding your mind and your spirit uh, negative things and destructive things, it won't be long before you act upon those things. Although we blurred the faces in the music video, investigators are checking to see if the weapon he allegedly used is the same weapon in the video. What is this music doing to the minds of our young people and how is it uh, programming them to perhaps carry out some of these heinous acts that we see? Now, Pastor Sullivan is inviting every family every Wednesday in February for his series called The Message Behind the Music. And make sure it's not, you know, something that's being pumped into their spirit that's programming them to think the wrong way and act the wrong way. Investigators have only identified the shooter as a 17-year-old and plan to release his name after charges are filed. So, as you see... They're now blaming it on the music, right? So this is him right here. So I'm, I'm assuming that um, they had him in boxing. They thought that if they, you know, had him in boxing, and maybe this is something he chose to do on his own because I know myself growing up, um, I wasn't encouraged to get into the martial arts. You know, this is something that I wanted to do, you know? So I made the moves on, you know, going to the community center or, taking martial art classes and stuff like that. So that was my hobby. That was the thing I did. But it's interesting they said they weren't going to release his name until he's charged. But on the bottom of his photo, it says Elijah Child. So I'm assuming that's his name because the mom's last name is also Childs. The father is Raymond Childs. He's 42. And his mother, Kizzy, which is 42. And he had a 13-year-old sister, Rita, and his 18-year-old brother, Elijah Childs, along with Elijah's 19-year-old girlfriend, Kiera Hawkins, and their unborn child, referred to as Baby Boy Hawkins. So there's a, there's a, there's a story to be told here, man. There's a lot of stuff that's going on here, you know. But I'm going to put the article on the bottom and let you check it out for yourself. But... It's interesting how they're blaming it on the rap music. Now, the pastor was correct in what he was saying. Is like when you play these violent video games, you let your kids play these violent video games, and you let your kids, you know, uh, play that rap like that kind of music. It wasn't allowed in my house when my sons were growing up, you know. And I let them know it's like you don't. Why would you feed your your mental rolodex with that trash, that garbage, you know? Because as time go on. You know, if you're playing a, a violent video game and you're shooting, you know, and seeing blood splats, later on, you're going to want to act that out. It's like when I was in the military, you know, and we were going through all this, you know, combat training, man. And after a while, we were like, you know, when are we going to put this to work? You know, when when we go into war, we wanted to go to war, you know. Um, so... You know, when you when you constantly feeding your mind this trash, this garbage, this violence, you're gonna act out in violence, and in many cases, it's, it's against the people that you claim to love. You know, so 
be careful how you raise your kids, man. And, and, and you have to become more aware of what's going on in your own house. So I'm going to put the article on the bottom. You guys can read it for yourself. Feedback. Tell me what you think. Subscribe. Until next time. I'm fearless.